So here we are recalibrating a drone. <laughs> Today is the day where the rain is staying away. So we just popped that nail there. So we just popped that nail inside there to show where we need to put our stud. So we can achieve the support we have on this side over on that side. So while Pardo cuts that, I thought I would just explain how ordering trusses works in New Zealand. Basically all trusses need to be made by a manufacturer of trusses, like a proper person who's certified to do so. You can't just build your own ones on site. So we go to our merchants and we tell them what trusses we want and they have a guy come out. The guy that they sent out for our job, his van it definitely beat mine in terms of van fit outs. He pulls up and you open the sliding door and there's a computer chair with a desk that has like a pop-up screen. You press a button and it goes up this... So that goes right down? Yeah, it goes right down, that just folds up. <laughs> How'd you do that? Where's the motor? He basically inputs all the data that he's just gained from doing the site measure. His program whips up a plan and he can print out the plan right there because he's got a printer in his van as well. And not only that, this particular dude likes camping so he's got a roll out fridge. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. He's got lights hooked up, he's got remotes that control all the audio. He's got drawers like mine in the back but you pull out his drawers and he's got a sink in there. There's actual running water. He's, he's ridiculous. And anyway, he gave me a good idea for how to open the drawers. So to open my drawers, it's like that. I have to use two fingers. But he's, he's used two key rings, drilled holes through there, and from the key ring, he has a cord that goes up through two loops, and all you have to do is pull that. See? So that's something that I'm gonna do here. It's very cool, very cool. So that's how we get the trusses ordered, and then they get sent out here. And now we're, uh, we're doing the installation. Hey bro. Hey mate. What's up? So yeah, this top plate is gonna go along there. I'm gonna take this sloping piece of wood out and then connect it into here. Now we pick up the big girder truss, the main truss that holds everything. So we put the string line from that end all the way to that end. We put a block this size between the wall and the string. Now we can go like this and that shows that we need to push it the string line. Oh, uh, ease off a touch. Yep, right there bro. And now it stays straight. Perfect timing. <laughs> Don't need the tops anymore. Let's go look at the roof. Perfect. 